Currently, Yin is helping the maids prepare dinner. Although they have forbidden their young mistress to help cook, Yin doesn't listen and insists on assisting. In the end, they nod in agreement to their young mistress's wish. Yin plans to cook for everyone, hoping they will enjoy her dishes. After a few minutes, the meal is served, waiting for her in-laws and husband to come down. They descend one by one. JK's parents are already seated at the dining table, helping themselves to the food. Then, JK also comes down after them. The food today is delicious. Who cooked? Today, the one who cooked all of this is the young mistress, sir. Immediately, JK's mother spits out her food upon hearing that Yin cooked the meal. Oh, my. Why didn't you say it was this village woman who cooked? She says, then quickly gulps down a glass of water. So Hyun, what are you doing? Never mind. My appetite is gone. I'd rather eat outside. She says, then leaves the dining table. So Hyun. JK's mother ignores him and takes her bag, leaving the house. Yin, please forgive my wife's words, and yes, your cooking is delicious, dear. Thank you, father. As for JK, he remains silent, enjoying his meal, as he is quite hungry. He ignores the issue at the dining table a few minutes ago, eager to finish dinner and rest. The next day. JK is currently holding a meeting with a company from Los Angeles, but in reality, the owner of the company is Korean. Mr. Kang. How about it? Do you accept our cooperation offer? After considering it, we will accept this collaboration. JK then stands to shake hands with Daniel, signifying their official partnership. Thank you, Mr. Kang. I am glad to work with you. I am also pleased to collaborate with you, Mr. Jian. How about we have dinner together to celebrate our collaboration? Sure, I will accept. Please choose the place, Mr. Jian. Oh, Mr. Jian, I heard you just got married? Yes, I just got married. Congratulations, Mr. Jian. Don't forget to bring your wife to dinner. All right, Mr. Kang. Well then, I'll go now. See you tonight. Yes. See you later. After Daniel's departure, JK immediately goes to his office to calm his mind. He isn't sure whether to invite Yin or not, but he already told Daniel to bring his wife. Finally, JK decides to invite Yin to join him. He quickly sends a message to Yin, informing her to get ready to attend dinner with Daniel, his new client. Get ready. I will pick you up at 8 tonight. Where are we going? I will take you to attend dinner with my new client. Alright? I will get ready in a moment. On the other side, Yin, who is at home, feels excited because JK will take her out for the first time. Yin quickly searches for a suitable outfit for the dinner event. However, she can't find the right dress despite rummaging through her entire wardrobe. Shortly after, the doorbell rings, the maid opens it, and soon after, the maid goes upstairs to meet Yin. Young mistress, this is a package from young master. Oh, thank you. Yin quickly opens the paper bag given by JK. She is surprised to see the beautiful dress inside. It's the first time JK has given her a dress, and Yin is very happy. Not long after, Yin's phone vibrates indicating a new message. Yin opens it to find it's from JK. Wear that dress for the event later. I purposely bought it for you. I hope you like it. Alright? I will wear it. Thank you. Yin feels happy because JK still cares about her. She quickly gets ready as it's 7 p.m., and in an hour, JK will pick her up. After finishing, Yin waits for JK to pick her up. She can't wait to go out with JK, even though it's not just a dinner for the two of them but with JK's client. Actually, Yin is starting to open her heart and hopes that JK can gradually love her. However, Yin also hopes it won't be her who withdraws slowly and eventually gives up. 30 minutes later, JK has arrived at her house and intends to pick up Yin. As JK enters his room, he is surprised and mesmerized by Yin's appearance. Tonight, he thinks his wife looks very beautiful. Let's go now. Yin nods and leaves the room, following JK, who is already heading to his car. During the journey, there is no conversation between them. JK focuses on driving, and Yin keeps looking at the busy streets through the car window. Finally, they arrive at the restaurant where JK has a meeting with his new client. JK and Yin are seated, waiting for Daniel. Shortly after, the person they're waiting for arrives and joins them. Sorry, I'm late. Daniel's words slow down as his eyes meet a woman standing in front of him. It's okay Daniel, we just got here. Not only Daniel, but Yin also feels surprised when seeing Daniel in front of her. After so long, Yin didn't expect to meet him again. After a few years of trying to forget, her heart aches as memories of their past together flood back. Yin can't take it anymore. She needs to let out what she's been holding back. Yin excuses herself to go to the restroom. Excuse me, I need to use the restroom for a moment. Yin whispers to JK, then goes to the toilet. 
When she reaches the toilet, Yin immediately lets her tears flow, which she held back upon seeing Daniel, a man she tried desperately to forget but still loves. She didn't expect to meet Daniel again after all this time. Yin is confused about what to do. Until now, his name is still engraved perfectly in her heart. But she's not ready to meet Daniel now, especially with JK by her side. Yin knows it will be more complicated later. Finally, Yin sends a message to JK that she will go home first because she's not feeling well. JK, I'm going home first because I'm not feeling well. I'll take a taxi. JK is surprised to receive a sudden message like that and immediately calls Yin. Reluctantly, Yin answers her husband's call. Yes, JK? Why did you suddenly get sick? Where are you now? I'm still in the toilet. It's okay. I just have a slight headache. In that case, let me go home now. No need. I can take a taxi. Besides, this is your new client, right? It's not polite to leave him while he's eating. It will create a bad reputation for your future collaboration. I'll go home by taxi. All right then. Be careful on the way. Yes. The call ends, and Yin leaves the place, wanting to go home to calm herself. Yin has arrived home and goes straight to the bedroom. Fortunately, JK's parents are attending a colleague's child's wedding, so Yin is alone at home with the maid. Yin sits curled up, holding her knees, and hides her face between them. She hasn't cried like this for a long time. The last time she cried like this was when Daniel left her. Now she cries again as Daniel returns after leaving her. She is shattered as memories of their past suddenly flood her mind. Why did you have to come back into my life at a time like this? When I'm struggling to forget you, how can I forget you like this, Daniel? Because she is tired of crying, Yin falls asleep in a sitting position, holding her knees and hiding her face between them. Maybe when Yin wakes up tomorrow morning, she will see her swollen eyes from crying for a long time. One hour later, the door opens, revealing the presence of Jian JK. JK is slightly surprised to see Yin in that position. JK approaches and wants to make sure if Yin is sleeping or not. Indeed, Yin is asleep in that position. JK tries to wake Yin up by gently shaking her body. But to no avail, Yin doesn't move at all. JK is puzzled about what to do. Should he lift Yin onto the bed or not? If JK lets Yin continue to sleep like that it will be uncomfortable. Besides, the floor feels cold, and it might make Yin sick, eventually causing trouble for JK as well. After thinking, JK decides to lift Yin onto the bed for her to sleep more comfortably. JK is surprised when Yin's top is slightly open, and he can see something soft there, although not very clear. In an instant, he dismisses his dirty thoughts and shifts his gaze to Yin's face, which is swollen from crying. JK furrows his eyebrows. JK briefly thought about the reason Yin cried tonight. Was it because of him or something else? But because his body is tired and sleepy, JK doesn't want to bother himself. He immediately goes to the bathroom to freshen up and change into his pajamas. After that he gently lays down next to Yin, closes his eyes, and falls asleep. Yin. So you're married now? Is it that easy for you to forget me? I've always waited for you to come back to me. But you're already married to another man? Why does it hurt so much to know all this? Do you still love me? Have you forgotten me? But I still love you very much until now. In his room, Daniel never stops looking at pictures of him and Yin together. Yin wakes up with slightly swollen eyes from crying for too long. She feels confused about how to handle it if someone at home asks why her eyes are swollen. Feeling a movement that disturbs her sleep, JK wakes up and sits up with sleepy eyes. Yin is confused about how to face the already awakened JK. She doesn't want JK to see her with swollen eyes like that. Yin, there's no need to pretend to sleep. I know you're awake. It's better if you don't go out today. Surely, mom and dad will ask why your eyes are swollen. So, it's better to stay in the room. I'll tell them you're not feeling well. Yin feels happy because at least JK still cares about her. Meanwhile, JK is still confused about whether he should ask why Yin cried last night, but he's too embarrassed to ask Yin. After a long battle with his thoughts, JK finally decides to let Yin be. He goes to the bathroom and gets ready for work. JK, where is your wife? She's resting. As a daughter-in-law, she should have woken up and helped in the kitchen. Yin is not feeling well mom. Besides, what's the use of having maids in this house? I've never seen mom cooking in the kitchen. It's the maids who do everything. JK, you. That's enough. I'm just stating the facts. Have you told her to take medicine? Yes dad. In that case, I'm going to the office. JK gets up from his seat and leaves for the office. So Hyun. Can't you appreciate Yin a little? Why do you keep having negative thoughts about her? Anyway, she is our family's daughter-in-law and your son's wife. No, I will never accept that girl as our family's daughter-in-law. She is not my ideal daughter-in-law. 
Moreover, they got married because of your mother's wishes, not out of love. As long as they are together, I will find a better woman for JK and marry him after they separate. So Hyun says and leaves the dining table. Jin Wan, who sees his wife's behavior, can only sigh heavily. In the afternoon, JK, these are the documents you need to sign. Guanlin says, handing over several folders. JK, are you listening? Guanlin says again, waving his hand in front of JK's face. Oh yes, what is it? There are some documents you need to sign. Give it to me, you can go. After Guanlin leaves, JK continues to think about what had been weighing on his mind since last night, none other than the cause of his wife's crying last night. Actually, at that moment, JK slightly realized that during last night's dinner, Yin was very surprised to see Daniel, and vice versa. Even though Yin and Daniel didn't show that they already knew each other, from their attitudes, JK could be sure that they must have met before. But why did Yin immediately go home and cry alone in the bedroom afterward? JK is suspicious. Their relationship in the past must not have been simple. Or perhaps, could it be that the two of them were former lovers who met again after a long time? If that's the case, their relationship is probably not over yet, because if it were over, meeting again should be normal for them. Does Yin still love him? And even if she does, why should I be restless?